Hey guys, Ajax22 here. Just wanted to let you know that uh, the blaster is finished. Um, I mean, functionally finished. I still have a few more cosmetic little tweaks that I want to do before I'm, I'm completely satisfied, but um, it's functional, it's intact. Um, yeah, the, uh, the, the launcher is mounted. Um, came in pretty nice. I really like the way the uh, the denial ring is uh, is in there. It's uh, I think it's going to have a really nice vortex effect. Uh, I'm not a fluid engineer, but uh, yeah, I have a, a suspicion it's going to do some really interesting things with fire. Um, let's, uh, one sec. Sorry about that. Needed two hands. Um, you can, as you can see here, uh, we made the uh, adapter um, that's pictured in the, or as, as close as we could get, just using the, the photos. Um, it, it, this thread pitch is a particularly interesting one. If you're going to be doing this yourself, it's a 1.3 inches by 11. Um, and special thanks to the mad scientist for figuring that out. And it was a, uh, <laughs> actually had to cut a couple of these before we we got it right. Um, thread pitch gauges uh, that do 11 are kind of um, unusual and we were concerned it might have been metric thread we were concerned it might have been you know some non-standard proprietary thing that the English came up with just because um, I mean we just just didn't know but uh, yeah 1.3 by 11 the uh, OD on this that we used uh, to create the shoulder was um, it was just a, a 1.5 inch piece of bar stock trimmed down 60 thousandths to make it pretty. Um, this angle right here, this is this is not a square, this is an angle. It was essentially just um, going in with a 60 degree uh, carbide cutter and just leaving it natural. Um, so it's, it's a 30 degree uh, bevel. Uh, the, the ID here is, I'm oh, sorry, the, uh, the OD on the smaller diameter is one inch um, and the way this was done was uh, we left the the barrel as long as we could um, so that we had enough pressure to properly ignite the powder as as much as possible before it hit the grenade cup that uh, is going to be full of non-dairy creamer um, just to try to better ensure ignition um, anyway the the od on the barrel was turned down using an annular cutter to uh, AK spec and then threaded um, 14 negative. Um, that might have, if we had to do it over again, we might do it uh, a right hand thread on that just to make it a little easier. But um, it it worked out pretty well, all things considered. Um, bored out the ID on the on the adapter, um, leaving about three quarters of an inch of thread, three quarters of an inch to an inch of thread. Um, board that to 0 0.85 uh, and then the, the ta natural taper of the barrel leading into it um, acts as a spreader so we wrenched it down and indexed it so that the grenade cup you know sits properly like it does on the prop with the two little uh, screws facing uh, the right side and the slot um, on the left uh, worked pretty well uh, gave it a, a black oxide wash real quick nothing too fancy no not a lot of prep work just to sort of match the patina and it, it I like the way it came out I really do um, spec on the denial ring um, yeah I think it's gonna work out well it's it's a piece of quarter inch thick wall tubing um, trued on a lathe that's um, cut basically square but the back side is done at a 45 degree angle um, so that it just just so it's got a little bit of a bevel to it on the on the inside I think that'll create the rolling pressure wave necessary to uh, you know do a, do a, a proper vortex and I think this is going to do some really interesting things with fire um, you know this was set up with a magnet um, across the, the top and then just uh, TIG welded on by uh, a guy that knew what he was doing, um, knew what he was doing, as you can see, nice penetration, and it should hold um, any pressure waves that are going to going to slap into it. 
in theory. If not, we can we can always go back through it and drill it um, from the edge and then plug weld it, weld it or, or pin it and plug weld it, add a mechanical bond. Um, I mean, a lot of things we can do, but you know, the important thing was that it, it entered California with uh, that in place. So that it's not a grenade launcher. It is simply, uh, I guess, I guess that would be a flash hider or a flash enhancer. Um, you know, it sounds like a bad joke from the Simpsons. Uh, yeah, it's a loudener. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's there. It's functional. Um, the magazine is a loaner from a uh, prior Enfield. Uh, I have the proper magazine showing up here soon. Um, have the Jawa costumes. Um, got to wear them around and take some selfies for Facebook the other day. Um, yeah, it's going to be fun. R2-D2 standee isn't here, but I think it'll be here shortly. Um, and then we're going to try to cosplay the range over at Burrow um, Sunday. So if you're in the LA area and want to do that, I'll, I'll keep everybody posted. Um, probably in the comments section of this video um, as to what the exact plan is, but you know, tentatively it's going to be Burrow probably uh, middle of the day sometime. And uh, yeah, we're just going to get out there and, and throw some fireballs until they throw us out or, you know, whatever. It's going to be going to be a blast. Uh, little things that I'm still going to do. Uh, I'm going to try to epoxy bed the stock. The, uh, the stock was originally out of a junk bin and the old mounting bolt that was in there was rusted pretty heavily. So, um, and, and underneath the, the metal, this portion was worn significantly. So it, uh, it slips a little bit and wiggles and I don't like the way it feels. So it really needs to just just have this portion um, bedded with a little bit of epoxy. Um, the rest, uh, the fore end, I'm going to remake just because I don't like the way the the tone of the wood matches. Um, mostly on camera, it looks good in person. Like you can't the, the the sharp light dark contrast really isn't as visible uh, in person. But you know, it's a replica movie prop. You know. A functional replica movie prop. It, it's got to look good on camera, right? Um, what else? I uh, may run the uh, the cup on the lathe real quick just to knock any little tiny high spots off um, and just uh, you know try to ensure as, as smooth a flow for the for the hot gases as we can. Um, that way we can get the more perfect uh, fire rings. But uh, beyond that, I think we're we're pretty good. If you have any questions about how any of this stuff was done, or need dimensions, or or any of that, uh, I'm happy to happy to take them. Happy to make them. The uh, pistol grip here, I did uh, to a different specification than the movie. Uh, you'll notice mine's more of a rounded ball. Uh, the one in the movie was an extra quarter inch to uh, three thirty seconds of an inch longer, and it was more squared off at the toe. Um, I I prefer it this way, so I'm gonna leave it because you know this this one is a, is a uh, not not a hundred percent accurate, obviously, since I used the wrong receiver going into it. Um, I'm gonna have to redo that at some point, but, uh, given the amount of work it is, it'll, uh, well, it's going to drive me nuts till I do it. So I'll probably do it sooner than later. Um, but in the meantime, this is definitely a, a very, very good, uh, tribute, if not an exact match. And I think it'll be just fine for, for cosplay in the range initially. Um, yeah. So that's, uh, that's where everything is at. If you guys have any questions, uh, comments, concerns, let me know. If you don't like the video, please, um, you know, explain why the thumbs down, because that would be useful. And there have been a few people that have been not enjoying videos that, uh, you know, I'd like to know why. But, uh, 
yeah um feedback's appreciated subscribe and uh hopefully if you're in the la area we'll see you uh sunday at burrow for some fireballs um and uh hopefully uh, a little bit later today or tomorrow i'll get around to doing the uh video on the e11 um episode 7 um reverse sterling blaster that we threw together um it's not exactly right I'll, I'll, and i'll go into it but it works shoots nine millimeter it's wonderful all right uh have a good one guys